Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Michael McIntosh and I just want to say to one and all a very God-blessed and wonderful New Year 2021 to one and all. Um, without a question, 2020 was an unprecedented time, an unprecedented year, um, without question. And the, the thought or the scripture that pops into my head immediately as I think back through 2021 is the word of God in 1 Samuel, that, that, that little portion after they fought and defeated that army and they erected a, mem a memorial called Ebenezer and which means hitherto have the Lord helped us and without a question hitherto has the Lord helped us and also um, this song this word which has been put to pen in song which says if it had not been for the Lord on our side where would we be everyone who is listening to this can without a doubt whether you're a Christian or not you have to say if it had not been for the Lord God on your side, you don't know where you would have been this moment. And as we have now stepped into 2021, I just want to say a few words to encourage our hearts. Because, and don't think that I am being pessimistic or negative. Coming out of 2020, I know that the persons are hoping for the best going into 2021. And certainly, especially for those of us who are born again believers, our faith has been tested, it was seen to the limit throughout 2020, across the board, across all countries, without question. All persons have been tested, um, their, their belief system and what they stand on have been tested to the limit. And I want to encourage those of us who are believers that for us, we have to understand the times and understand what is happening amidst all of this. And as a result of that, we need to see beyond the natural and see beyond those who don't have the Spirit of God within them. We have to understand that amidst all that is happening, we are without question, without any doubt, seeing the words that Jesus himself spoke of, the things that would happen as we approach and as we navigate towards uh, the end times there is no question about it that we are seeing those early days I'm certainly not making any claims and saying um, like some have been saying and I believe wrongly so um, we are certainly not in the tribulation period no we are not there yet but without a question we are seeing what Jesus called the birth pains leading up to those days there is no question about it but as we navigate into 2021 I want to say this to all of us one and all saved and unsaved hear me and hear me well and as the Lord led me even on Sunday gone to share at church that 2021 is not going to be any easier than 2020 there is more to come there is no question about it there is absolutely more to come and this is certainly not being pessimistic or negative but it's just the reality um, one of the things that Jesus said is that as we see these things begin to happen they are just the beginning of birth pains alright and as you know birth pains as the time gets closer to birth uh, 
uh, that woman, she goes through her birth pains and it increases with frequency and intensity. And without a doubt, as we navigate into 2021, we are going to see more things happening as the birth pains increase with frequency and intensity. The birth pains, as it were, of these end times. And so therefore, one of the words that, that, that has come into my spirit and which I hear other, other persons speaking to up to yesterday I was listening to a speaker on the radio and, I, and it is always a blessing that whenever the Lord gives me a word to deliver from the pulpit, he always confirms that word. And I heard the brother saying pretty much, coming from a slightly different angle, but saying pretty much the same things that I was saying that the Spirit of God led me to say that our faith has been tested but as we enter into 2021 our faith has to be in God and God alone in and through Jesus Christ our faith has to increase it's going to take an even greater level of faith to navigate through the days, weeks, and months ahead. The reality is that it's not going to get any easier. But those of us who put our faith and trust in God, Hashem, through the person of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord, God, and Savior, we don't have to fear. As the psalmist say, uh, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, we don't have to fear. We don't have to fear. God is faithful. And Without, with, with regardless of what is happening around us and what has been happening, nothing took God by surprise. God was not surprised at 2020. He did not say, oops. He did not sit in heaven wringing his hands and calling a meeting of all the angel, angels and all the beings of heaven and asking them what is going on. He saw it. He knew it. And he sees and he knows what is coming in 2021. And so therefore, my encouragement to all of us is that our faith has to increase. We have to put our faith and trust as in no other time more and more in God, in his word. We have to trust that God is faithful, that regardless of what is happening around us, God is faithful. Nothing changes the fact that God is faithful. He will always be faithful. And He is able to do far more exceedingly abundantly beyond what we can ask or think. And so for those of us who are believers, our faith has been tested. But guess what? There is more to come. And so therefore, we have to increase our faith. And our faith is increased. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. We have to stand more and hang more onto the word of God. We have to understand that God is our source. Everything else is just a resource. And that even uh, though things are, are what they are and there is chaos and there is confusion and, and, and all that is happening and they say that there are more serious strains of virus that is, that is looming and that is on the horizon and all of that. Of course, Jesus spoke of those things. He tells us, Jesus said that these things would happen. Uh, pestilence, which really means disease, that these things would increase as we navigate and heading towards his coming. But, but we have no need to fear. Therefore, we will not fear. Okay, so those of us who are born again believers, we must not fear. We cannot afford to, to respond like the world. We must respond in faith, absolute faith and trust in God. And so I really believe that for us as believers, Man, these are, these, man, for, for, on the natural it might seem as some of the most difficult days, but for us, these are some of the most, of, of the, some of the best days yet. Because one, it is telling us that it's time for preparation. More than ever, His coming is more eminent for us, um, His bride more than ever. And so we must increase our faith. We must stand more and more on the Word of God. Alright, and so that's my encouragement to us as we enter into 2021. It's going to be our faith in God, our faith in the Word of God more than any other time. 
that we will have to draw and that we will have to stand on. And as I shared the word in church earlier um, this week, that man, we need to level up our faith. Our faith must level up. Our faith must not be in man. Our faith must not be in anyone, be it the reverend, be it bishop, doctor, apostle, prophet, whatever name or title they bear. If you notice, I didn't even call out any title that I might have because that's irrelevant and unimportant. It doesn't matter to me. That means nothing to me. I am just a child of God who open my mouth and say what God give me to say when I have something, when I believe he has given me something to say. Uh, title is unimportant and, and what we must stand on is the word of God we must put our trust and faith in God and God alone and his word because there are days coming we saw it this year and believe you me expect it again expect it that the days are coming when you will be able to call on no one, no pastor, no bishop, nobody to come and pray with you or for you. You're going to have to stand on your own faith in God. And so I'm encouraging all of us, have faith in God. Trust Him more than any other time. And if you are not saved, then listen man. You need to make that decision now. You have to. There is no more time to delay. As we say in Jamaica, there is no time to lay lay. There is no time to waste if you are not yet saved, if you have not yet put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Not asking if you go to church, not asking if you are religious, but if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone as your Lord, God and Savior, you need to do that now because I'm telling you the days that are ahead will not be any easier than 2021. And it is only the just that shall live by faith. Faith. It is only those who live by faith in God through Jesus Christ that will really be able to make it through the days ahead. Alright, and so my word to everyone this morning is put your faith and trust in Christ alone. Increase your faith. Trust God for the impossible. But if you are not saved, then you have to make the first step by Putting your faith in Jesus Christ alone as your Savior, all right, and accepting in your heart and in your life. And so I'm just going to declare God's blessing upon you all. And if as an act of faith, if you want to raise your hand or stretch forth your hand or whatever you feel so to do, I'm going to pronounce what is referred to as the ironic a blessing, the priestly a blessing, and I by faith receive it and receive everything that is spoken in this blessing. Hallelujah. Ivarekaka Adonai, Vish Mereka, Yair Adonai Panahav, Ayi Leka, V Yekunaka, Yisa Adonai Panahav, Ayi Leka, Yasim Ika Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace, give you shalom, wholeness, completeness, favor, goodness, blessing, protection, preservation, and protection be yours throughout 2021 and on if God will and if he tarries. God bless you all. Amen.